Jim. Hello, Yaron, and uh, hello, everyone out there. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to keep this fairly simple today. I don't have uh, any curveballs to, to throw at you. Uh -huh. um, uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Uh, very simply, what, uh, what do you think are some very good um, uh, ideas or quotes or essays that very well reflect certainly the outcome of uh, 2020 as a year and, and where we are today, uh, especially as distinct perhaps from past decades? What do you think from Ayn Rand well represents oh, today? From Ayn Rand. Well, I mean, I would, I would. Um, um, otherwise too. Yeah. I mean, everything Rand wrote is, is obviously relevant and, and, uh, and uh, both inspiring and depressing and relevant to what's going on right now. I, in particular, I would, I would look at the voice of reason. Um, she's got two sections there. She's got a section on culture, um, which is, I mean, it's amazing to read because basically everything she said back then is, is, you know, right on. Um, and, and you've got, you know, essays like the intellectual bankruptcy of our age, our cultural value deprivation, which is brilliant, global Balkan balkanization, which is all about tribalism. It's a perfect file time. Um, the fascist uh, new the, frontier. Fascist new frontier. Is that in that? Is that in that book? Um, I don't know, but that, that's, that's what comes to my, my yeah. mind when I think of this age. Yeah, that's another one. Fascist new frontier. Uh, you, you know, you've got assault from the ivory tower, tower, the professor's war against America. I mean, this is what, 1972 or something. And, and she's already seeing it. Um, and epitaph for a culture. What's that? Epitaph for a culture. And then, you know, then in the politics section, uh, you've got, um, you know, antitrust, the rule of unreason. You're going to see a lot of antitrust already have seen. I mean, the Trump administration went at, at, at sued both Google and uh, Facebook. We'll see how those, um, you know, the one that gets us all into trouble about a woman's pre a woman president. Uh, that's always fun. But uh, yeah, all of these, how to fight against socialized medicine, hunger and freedom, the American school, why Johnny can't think. That's a Lena Peikoff essay that is part of this, part of the voice of reason. Um, you know, the pull peddlers. Wow. The pulp peddlers talk about what's going on right now in Washington and the the, the, the cronyism. So uh, tons, tons of content um, that is relevant. And I, you know, I've suggested this in the past, but I think partially to stay sane, partially just to keep sharp and not to get caught up in the in the little stuff that's going on, all the all the minutia of, of American politics and culture today. I'd read an Iron Man essay every week, one essay a week. That's a good idea. What would you say for, for somebody who's uh, relatively new uh, and maybe has only read uh, some of her fiction? What are some of the best ways for someone who's new to access and find some of these many essays? Well, a lot of them are on the Ayn Rand Institute website for free. So on uh, if you go to the Ayn Rand Institute website on, on the campus, I think, and uh, these essays are free. So and you can, um, you can read them online uh, for free. Otherwise, you can you know, I've got them all downloaded onto my onto my iPad, and I, I can just flip it open and read any essay I feel like any time. Uh, so, um, yeah, I would definitely download books like The Voice of Reason, Philosophy Who Needs It, uh, Virtue of Selfishness, Capitalism the Unknown Ideal, and then just just read an essay a day, uh, an essay a week. And when you run out there, there are other places you can find more essays, or, or just go online and read an essay. Um, an essay a week uh, up there until those get exhausted. There's plenty, plenty of essays overall. So it's incredibly prolific. Thank you. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, 
please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.